Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanna to share with you how I do my flawless face. Now this flawless face is going to be centered around more of a lightweight foundation, but you can definitely do this with any product that you like and for any occasion as well. Now one thing that I love about makeup the most is that yes, I can cover up certain things that I want to cover up, but I really love makeup to enhance my natural features. Skin should look like skin, it should have texture, it should have pores, and you know i have texture i have pores i have oily skin i can't help that but instead of trying to cover it up and hide it and mask it i accept i have it and i try and use products in a way that i know it will work for me but also like i can't cover up that i have pores and that's fine i don't want you guys to think that just because i do all of this you need to it's not about what you look like it's what you are on the inside so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you do please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you are interested to see how i achieve a flawless face then please keep on watching so first things first as always you've got to make sure that you've cleansed and moisturized your skin so i have already done that this morning and so now it's time for me to go in with my priming bases there is no secret at all that I love to take a more intense hydrating moisturizer. Of course, can do whatever you prefer. If your daytime moisturizer is really hydrating and nourishing and you feel like that's perfectly the right amount that you need, then of course you can just add your makeup straight on top. I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorites, which you guys have definitely seen before. The first one being the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. This is an absolute favorite of mine. I love this, especially for more glam looks. I think it's just so hydrating and nourishing. It really helps to plump my skin as well. And it just makes makeup sit perfect perfectly on and blend so nicely. Again, from Charlotte Tilbury, I like the lighter version of the Magic Cream. This works exactly the same way, it's just a thinner consistency. Of course, I love my Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown as well. This is great because it is a moisturizer and primer in one. I also really like the Hydrating Face Cream from Bobbi Brown because this has enriched mineral water and algae extract as well. So it's really cooling, really soothing on the skin, but it isn't really heavy and thick. So if you are more oily, you might prefer something like this. If you have more dry skin, you might prefer something a little bit thicker and richer. If you're more oily, you might like something that's more lightweight, a bit thinner in consistency. But just find out what your skin type is and find out what textures you prefer on your skin as well. A step I like to do as well as this, or sometimes where I feel like my moisturizer is enough for the day, then I will go in with an illuminating base. For this, I love to take either my strobe cream from MAC. These strobe creams are incredible. This is in pink light, but there's gold light and there's loads of other shades as well. Super moisturizing and hydrating, but they just look so beautiful on the skin. Obviously, love my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is amazing. Again, really illuminating on the skin. This does have a little bit of color to it, so it adds a little bit of coverage to the skin. So if you do you find that this is perfect for you for every day? You could just go in with this alone. Another one for Charlotte Tilbury that I love is the Brightening Youth Glow. This is really nice. Again, it's just super hydrating. It has a beautiful glow, really reflective. And it looks perfect on its own or with foundation as well. The best thing about all these illuminating products is that you can use them in a multitude of ways. Obviously you can use them underneath foundation, you can mix them in with foundation, or you can apply them on top of your foundation. So if you have more of a full coverage foundation, you can just mix these in with it just to thin it out. And you can also take your moisturizer to do that as well. Primers are absolutely a personal thing. Sometimes I'll go in the primer, sometimes I won't, it just depends. But I obviously really like my professional. This is really good at just blurring out any imperfections. I also love my Smashbox one. That is probably the best one I've ever used. It's really, really good. I focus them on the T-zone, so just in the center my face just where I get more oily but of course if you get oily on your cheeks or anything you can put it there too. So once I've applied all those products I will then let that sink in again for a couple of minutes and then I'll go in with my actual foundation or my BB cream or whatever base I decide to take for the day. So I think for today I'm going to take my magic cream light. I just love this for the daytime. I haven't really used my magic cream like the original magic cream that much because I just think I prefer this one for more daytime looks because it is just a little bit thinner. I like to focus more of these hydrated and glowy products mainly on the areas of my face where I feel like I don't get much of that glow because my skin type is oily but I am combination so I'm oily in the center but I'm completely comfortable and normal on the rest of my face so I like to make sure that my skin is well nourished and hydrated all over but definitely in the areas where I'm more normal whatever's left I will just take it over the areas where I do get a bit more shiny just so they are well hydrated even if you have oily skin, you still need to be hydrating and moisturizing your face. So obviously from doing that, you can see that I do have a bit of glow 
to my skin, which I really like. To finish off, I'm just gonna take my lip balm just to hydrate my lips and get them prepped for any lipstick. It's the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. It's literally my favorite, I love it, so. But obviously you can take any lip balm or lip oil, anything that you prefer. I'm gonna go in with my Brightening Youth Glow today. I really do love this stuff. I love the texture of it. It's not really thick or heavy. Now for foundation, you can of course go in with anything that you prefer. So you can go in with the foundation, whether that's lightweight, medium, full coverage, anything at all that you prefer, whether that's for daytime or nighttime. You can go in with the BB cream and CC cream and tinted moisturizer, again, whatever you prefer. I do think it's really, really important to keep reminding ourselves every single day that skin should look like skin. By that, I literally mean skin should have pores, it should have texture, it might have redness, might have dark spots. You know, you might have breakouts or whatever. That's completely normal. You don't need to be wearing makeup to cover them. I love to cover them up sometimes, but I really do like to use makeup in a way to enhance my features as well. But yeah, I just don't want you guys to think that I'm saying that you have to cover up your face because you don't have to. But if you are interested in finding out some tips and tricks when you do want to wear makeup, then I hope I can give you some today. Remember that your skin doesn't define you and that I promise you if you are struggling with any bad skin or anything, it will get better. So many different foundations and BB creams and CC creams and everything that you can obviously go for. Just really do your research, try a few, see whatever one you prefer, but you probably do have your favorite foundation that you'd love to use anyway day to day. So you can definitely just use that one. I recommend highly the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. You guys know it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. So I've gone through two of these. This is actually my second one. I believe yeah this is my second one but I do have it in a dark shade I have it in number three neutral for when I have a little bit more of a tan I loved this in the summertime when I got a bit more of a natural tan but this is a number two cool I do find these foundations come up more on the warm side so yeah two cool is perfect for me I think I probably could go lighter as well now because I definitely have not been out in the sun much at all I probably could go a bit lighter but I really do love this great finish great coverage it doesn't feel heavy on the skin but it is a nice full coverage I would say it's you definitely can build it up so you could even say it's a bit of a medium buildable coverage it's great for the daytime the evening it's really not heavy on my skin I am used to wearing foundation so I don't really find foundations heavy on my skin that much anymore but yeah I really love this and I recommend if you haven't tried it definitely say my light wonder and the airbrush flawless are my favorites at the moment <laughs> it's so difficult i'm such a base person i love any base products always down for trying new foundations so please let me know in the comments below your favorite foundation that you think i would like as well for foundation today i think i'm gonna go in with my light wonder i haven't used this in a while and i just love it it's so so good the shade has completely come off the bottle but i think i am shade 1.5 there and I love it. I think this is a really good colour match. Everyone has their own personal preference on brush, sponge, or just using your hands. But for foundation and any cream products that you have been really into, my sculpting brush from Real Techniques. I love how it's got that nice angle to it. This is probably more for cream bronzer, but I do love it for any cream products. It's nice and dense as well. I just really feel like it gets right in there to blend everything out. And of course, I love my beauty blender. This I can never ever live without. I also have the Real Techniques one here that I use for powder. Real Techniques ones are still really great there's so many sponges out there now but i just i love the original beauty blender it's so so good it's expensive but it's good the time i really love to take a brush first just to really disperse it all over my face and then i'll go in on top with the sponge just to make sure there's not too much excess product sitting on my skin you don't have to do both steps you can just do one whatever you prefer sometimes i put the product on the brush or i'll just squeeze it onto my face there is no right wrong way i like to always start off with a small amount and just really distribute it and blend it as far across my face as possible just so i'm gradually building up any coverage and you can just see already i feel like it's just evening out my skin with anything it's so much easier to build it up than to take it away so just go in with a light amount because you might be surprised you might think you need a lot of product but you really don't So I've just done a light layer of foundation and that's just because this is a light coverage foundation in itself. You can build it up, but it's still going to be really minimal. To add more coverage, you definitely can take that same foundation or the base that you have used. You can go in with a more full coverage one or you can go in with concealer. You can take one concealer, you can take two, you can take five. It's completely up to you. I tend to get quite red here 
and on my chin and then around my nose that's just my problem area so for me I do like to add a little bit more coverage to those areas just so it evens it out a little bit I love my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla it's my perfect shade I absolutely love it I love the coverage I love how it just looks great on its own it looks really good as well underneath powder and it just lasts all day lately I've been loving my Laura Mercier concealer which is the flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer in 0.5 n I love this to just add more brightness under my eyes and in the center of my face it's kind of adding that highlight to my skin which gives a little bit more dimension and shape to the face if I go in with a light concealer on the areas where I want to cover like my spots or any redness it could actually enhance it more because when you highlight you're trying to bring the eyes to that area you're trying to make them stand out whereas if you go in with a shade that is more like your skin color then it is going to help just make it look more seamless and covered i do find however with this i can get away with it if i put it around my nose because i like to cover it with this and then i do like to enhance the center of my face a bit with this so i might put some of this on that area but i never just put this on alone i always put both together Again, it's completely up to you and what you think works best for you. So with this, I also like to add this where I want more coverage. So I do want a bit more coverage around here because again, this is where my pores are more enlarged here. So I've just done the areas where I wanted a little bit more coverage, not necessarily to brighten, but just add a bit more coverage that I feel like I didn't get that much from the foundation. And then around my nose, so any redness. And then I'm gonna do my chin. And my chin is an issue for me. That's where I get most of my hormonal breakouts. So I just want to make sure it's well covered. So I do put quite a bit on, but I just take a thin layer on it. So it's always better to take a small amount. And then I get a bit of redness here on my jaw. And then you can, sometimes I do this, which I don't think it's just supposed to do, but I do just take the wand straight away and put it on my spots. But what would probably be a bit more hygienic is to put some on the back of your hand and go in with obviously clean hands. As always, you should always clean your hands before you do your makeup. And then just pat it on those areas. I find as well the warmth of my fingers really help just to melt it all into my skin. You can go in and blend it out with your fingers or with a brush or with a sponge. And for this, I really like to use my sponge because I feel like it picks up any excess product and I don't get any brush strokes. That's why if I do use a brush, I always go in with a sponge just to make sure there's no brush strokes or anything. And I like to just bounce it and like blend it in. I don't swipe or anything, so I don't want to move that product around. I'm making sure not to take too much product under my eyes because I don't want to get too cakey or anything under there. But I will just try and blend it out across my face as much as I can. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier concealer. I'm just gonna apply a small amount to my under eyes. I like to focus mainly where I wanna brighten, so right into the inner corners, just so it makes me look more awake. A little bit on my nose and forehead, Cupid's bow, and just small amount on my chin. And then again, blend it out. I like to leave my concealer under my eyes just to sit for a little bit longer because this really allows it to get a bit more coverage. I like to blend most of it out right into the inner corner like where I applied it and then blend the rest outwards and also whatever's left I will put on my lid as a nice base for any eyeshadow that we might use. Now I really like to leave all of these cream products to just sit on my skin and kind of self set before I go in with any powder. That way I feel like my skin can really kind of absorb the product in a way and just kind of melt it into my skin naturally. Because I find if I go straight in with powder sometimes it can go more cakey because it hasn't had time to sit. But again that's just what I like to do. So because this is just going to be my base makeup, I'm going to quickly go and do my eyebrows and my eye makeup and I'll be right back. Now it's time for powder. So with powder, again, you can take whatever one you prefer. You can take more of a pressed powder or you can take a loose powder. I love my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish in number one fair. I love the Charlotte Tilbury Loose Powder as well, the Magic Powder, and again, I'm in number shade one fair. Also love my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is fab. And if you guys have seen some of my recent videos, you would know that I've been really enjoying 
adding the translucent glow version at first i was very skeptical about this but now that i've been using it as more of a highlighting powder i really really like it something i've really been enjoying is taking my loose powder and using this all over my face i'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend under my eyes to make sure there's no crease in and then i'm going to take my real technique sponge and dip it into the powder that's in the lid and just pounce it under my eyes and on any of the areas of my face where i just want to set it i don't go in and bake i tend to just let the product sit on my skin for a bit and really blend it in just by pouncing the sponge i find this is a great way to make sure that the powder doesn't get cakey or anything but it still really makes my skin look really flawless And then when I feel like I've got everything nicely, evenly blended in, I will then take my powder brush and just apply this to the rest of my face. Okay guys, so now we're completely powdered. Our face doesn't look like it has much dimension to it whatsoever. And now I'm gonna go in with my powder products. Now guys, if you have noticed something, I have not done any cream bronzing, cream blushing, or cream highlighting. And that's purely because I just wanted to mix it up for today's video. And I also really wanted today's video to focus mainly on priming and foundation and concealer and powder. Of course, gonna go in with my powder bronzer, blusher, and highlighter today. But if you guys are interested to see how I use those cream products as well as the powder versions, then please let me know. If you see any of my other videos, you would know I love using cream blushes and bronzers highlighters but i just wanted to mix it up for today but yeah if you're interested to see how i would use them then please watch my other videos or just let me know and i can do a really more in-depth video tutorial like i'm doing today bronze is a great way to add a bit more warmth add a bit more dimension depending on the undertone if it's more of a cool tone bronzer then that is more of a contour kind of powder i would use it as anyway if it's more warm tone then i would say it's more of an overall bronzy kind of sun-kissed look the bronzer i will distribute it like all over i don't really keep it very defined into one position like if I was contouring I would really make sure to keep it in that same position right here near the back of my cheekbone but with bronzer I just like to put it everywhere nonetheless I'm gonna go with my bronzer this is the airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury in number two medium this is never gonna run out but it is so big I love it it's such a beautiful shade and I really love how it's nice and warm but it also isn't too warm that I can't get a bit of like that contour definition to my face with it a really good way to start off is to do like that 3 E kind of shape to the face that way you're hitting all the areas that the sun would naturally hit to give you more of that nice sun-kissed glow when you're on holiday where you might get a bit of color and it's also to create a bit of dimension so you're using it to kind of make more features enhanced maybe slim out the face a bit even though you don't need to do that but it's all about creating those kind of illusions I sometimes like to take my bronzer as if it's a bit like blusher as well just so it blends nicely with my blusher and creates that nice warmth within my blusher for my powder blusher i'm going to take my cheek to chic swish and pop blusher in love glow from charlotte tilbury this is lovely because it has that lovely glow within it which i like to focus mainly where my highlighter will go so right on my cheekbone and blend it back and also up onto the temples and forehead a bit just so it's really seamless and then i will bring some of it ever so slightly on the upper of my cheeks and for highlights i'm going to go in with the shade cookie from my cheek leader palette from benefit this shade is so intense it's so beautiful it's a really nice gold shade i'm focusing this on the top of my cheekbones and the top of my brow and again creating that kind of c shape because i find it's just so flattering when it catches the light and it's not harsh because you don't see where it starts and stops it just looks like it's continuous so it just makes it a little bit softer even though it is nice and intense too okay guys so i just quickly did my lips and my mascara and this is kind of the final look now the last step i do to any makeup look is to set my face i love my mac fix plus this is amazing to just let everything sink and melt in together and to make sure that my makeup lasts all day or all night and does not budge is my all nighter from urban decay this is my favorite i really really want to try the charlotte tilbury one but i've tried the morphe one and that's nice as well but i always come back to the all nighter one but there's definitely loads of different set of sprays out there that you can try whether you go more drugstore and more affordable or more high-end but these two i highly recommend 
And this is the final look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video today. With anything I said, obviously you can do your foundation and your makeup however you like, but I hope those tips and tricks have helped you a little bit. And yeah, I hope you did really enjoy this video. I really do wanna do those videos with my cream blushes and powder blushes and bronzers and go more in depth with that as well as going more in depth with my full coverage routine as well. Please let me know if you'd like to see those videos as well as anything else, just leave your comments down below. But I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.